Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at the earthquakes, and we got one right out, not too far from the airport. This is 3.4 west of Kona, Hawaii. 5.0 miles deep. Remember the crack that we talked about yesterday? The National Airport, the Kona International Airport, where the crack was going across. Let me show you real quick. You can see all these quakes, how they're piling up. And I was looking at this crack through here. You know, they got the imagery of 2023, but not 2024 over through here. Just in this one little area and one small area up here. We need the new imagery on this, 2024. But it's 2023 right now. It's a 2.3 out here off the coast and a 3.4 out here and we had another one, a 2, let me see what we got, 2.5 and greater, 2.8, 18.5 miles deep. This is in the chambers but a little bit closer to the surface than usual. Now Mauna Loa, 2.1, Mauna Kea, 1.8. Now let's go look at this, Google Earth. And let me see if I can zoom in and it'll show you 2024 in certain areas. This is 2023. But anyway, this is the airport. Kona, right here. Kona International Airport. Okay, now what do we see once we go over this airport? When you go over it, let's, let's get level now. You know, like we're on the ground. Okay, we're level on the ground. Let's go over. Then it goes to shallower waters. And then it just drops off. Let me go back to that. Okay, let's start all over. I believe I went down too far. And you go over from the airport. Right here's the airport. It's a little bit of a shallow water right here. You can see a couple boats going around. I know it's a little dark, but that's the only way you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, right here's the bank. And look how high that is. Let's turn around. And you got a slide right out from it, too. Okay, right here's the airport, right on the edge of all of this, and there's one uh, news station that says it was from fishers, and another news station came out and said it was from the rains and the floods flooding through there, that's what caused the crack. You can see right here where it slid, and you can understand more of why it cracked by looking at this. I mean, this is really high up in the air. And out in the ocean, on the other side where Kilauea is at, they got some big mounds out there. Okay, let's go check out the earthquakes now. All right, Alaska. Got quite a bit, but they're scattered out. And this, these are east of Anchorage, around Valdez, west of Valdez. A little swarm there. And we've been having a lot of activity up here near the Barren Strait. That's not good. It's where the plates are moving, where the continents are moving. One small one, Mount Rainier. This one here is a 2.1 east northeast of Unity, Oregon, 2.5 miles deep. And we got the swarm around Texas, that's with the drilling point around Mentone, west of Mentone, Texas. And got a few more quakes down in here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. 
All right, we only got one small one, 2.2, off the coast, northern California, west southwest of Petrolia. And around Indian Springs, Nevada, you have some on the, I think it's west. West, northwest of Indian Springs. And this one over here is east, southeast of, let's see right here, Indian, Indian Springs. North Indian Springs. And west northwest Indian Springs. Got it all backwards here. And around the Air Force Base, got one small one, 0 0.9. This down through here is scattered out. We've got to take a look at what's going on. And around Midland, north of Midland, 2.2. .2. Oklahoma, all we got over here is 1.9. Rotten, Texas, or Rotane. 2.7 and 2.7, 5.1 miles deep, 0 0.9 miles deep. Nothing reported over in the east, so we can expect activity over in the east soon. Maybe small, maybe large activity. I really can't tell once it goes through all these faults. A 6 can start out up through here or 7, and when it hits down through here, it can split off to all kinds of different faults, fault lines. Let's go right here to the fault lines and see what we got. So it's hard to tell exactly which way they take off because they split off in so many different directions. So it's hard to keep up with when it's on land. When you're off of land, you got the one big main fault going down through here. It's pretty easier, I mean, a lot easier to keep up with. All right now, 16 hours ago, 1.5. This is what Canada is reporting. 1.7, southwest of Port Alice, British Columbia. Right out, off of the coast of Vancouver Island, 3.3, Cookville, Washington, 23 hours ago. And here's our other quakes, 0 0.5, around Mount Rainier. Okay, nothing over through here, not even reported shaking. Alright, now we're looking for a 7 plus earthquake. We was looking for upper 6 to a 7 plus, we ended up getting a 6.4 at 136.3 miles deep, that's really deep, and then we got some more activity, 5.2 Indonesia, and we just got a 5.5 solar, and around Tonga, 5.0, and over here, Right on the cocoa plates. That is Mexico. 5.0. 29.2 miles deep. 5.7. South Sandwich Island region. You know, we got a quite a bit of activity. Now this here would usually... This 5.7 would usually add up to a larger quake because it's so deep. I mean the 6.4 like a 7 plus because it's so deep the upper 6 anyway but now from the way things are looking we're still getting to 7 plus 3 to 5 days we'll see that 7 plus I don't see how we can miss it it's, you know it, even if it junctioned off it would still be a 7 plus ok over here in this area is where we're looking for it at maybe up here I mean it's the way things are going and the way the Continents are shifting. North American continents pushing on the Pacific plate, and it's pushing over here on the Philippines, Australia, and all that. And you know, it's putting a lot of pressure. But you can see it pushing over here. So when it's pushing over here, and it's causing earthquake activity, it's going to come down through here. If it don't go this way, most likely around through here. It's where I'm looking for it to head. If you live around the main fault line, the ring of fire, or one of these main faults, just be prepared for a 7 plus, just in case if it hits your area, because it hits the next weak spot. It can look like it's going to hit right here, and it'll have a weak spot down here that it hits before it gets there. 
so it'll hit the next weak spot. So just be prepared just in case if it hits your area. We do know it's coming though. That's the main thing. That's you know, that's the main thing. Knowing it's coming, not seeing it after it hits, but knowing it's coming. Alright, we got these anomalies. North America. Going through here. The reason it's up through here empty is because of the storm. Right over here on the storms, tropical disturbance, tropical disturbance, depression. And then we got this one out in the ocean. That is category one, tropical cyclone, 50 mile per hour. Australia, tropical disturbance, 25 mile per hour. Another tropical disturbance. Disturbance, 25 mile per hour. And you see here how this is added up. We're getting snow right now. Dread all that. But anyway, take it as it comes, I guess. The winds out in the oceans are really not right. I mean, this is abnormal for this time of the year, the way everything's going. It's just too windy. I mean, I ain't seen where nobody said nothing about it or nothing, but things are not looking right in the oceans. And you're starting to get, I mean, you got snow in Washington down into Oregon and light rain coming behind that. And a moderate rain in one spot north of Seattle up that way. Let's look at the heat real quick. I mean, we already 11 minutes in here. 113 Australia. See, they cause the storms the heat causes storms so when you got heat what I'm trying to get to here not just looking at this this is 112 it, it's it's hot and looks like that's the hottest place on earth you can see all the storms are starting up over through here because of the heat now when we got a heat in North America across the land from one of the volcanoes or volcanic area or coming toward the surface, that heat will cause storms. So we got these anomalies right here, that's heat. So when they're coming across, they're causing more storms every day. And like I said before, three years ago, when we started watching these anomalies, be ready for bigger storms, bigger hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, everything like that. All of this is going to increase. Earthquakes is going to increase. It's just going to be bad. And we had a fire over here. It, it was either a fire or something going on and right here is Kilauea and we had right down in this area Right here was a fire or something, and it was really doing some burning. It's not showing now. But just in case if magma's coming out, you know, we could be ready for that, which you already know. I don't think there's no one lives around this area. And these cracks, we can look at them better with the new updated Google Maps on the island. And these cracks have formed more. And they go all the way over and right off the coast over this way, right here. This whole, the whole slump right here will break one day. I'd have to follow the line across. But that's a big chunk. And I'll show you what exactly it looks like over in here. First chance I get. Okay, I'll see you on the next updates. Everybody stay safe. And we'll be watching. And don't forget to watch for the 7 plus earthquake. 3 to 5 days. 7 days at the most. But there's... I don't see no way of it missing. And Hawaii... Is right in the middle of all of this mess going on. 
I know I didn't. I'll do it all the time. I just said it's taking off. These purple spots are the spots that's updated for 2024. Big mounds out here in the ocean, which we'll take a look at that later. Just giving you an idea about what's out here. Alright, I'll see you next time.